Hello everyone. I got a Christmas card the other day from my friend Joseph Miller with an original poem that I'd like to read to you now called Baby Grand. In the snow, at night, under a street lamp, this is not a piano, no longer a piano, but a ruin, the abandoned corpse of a piano. Its keyboard and rows of felted hammers splay out downstage. The curved flank is heaped high. Wires shoot here and there like weird sister's hair. It is cold here. Offstage left the soundboard in the snow where a dog will have his way with it. Oh, grand, baby grand, isn't this grand? We are lying in the snow, baby, baby. We are lying in the snow, but are we dead yet? Dear Philo, since you ask, I will tell you why it matters so much, the difference between a singer who has a pretty voice and sings nicely enough, and one who tears your heart from your breast, throws it on the floor, and stamps on it with her pretty foot. Consider how pleasure palls, rapture never. I urge you to write what you have seen, the erupting volcano, the decline of manners, the end of something you expected to last something you expected to be here long after we are gone, barge music on the river, the Chelsea Hotel, the torso of Apollo. Of her life and career, we can only say, it burned fast, but exceeding bright. Towards the end, she definitely made a few unlovely sounds, but she was incapable of singing badly, incapable of being boring, incapable of uttering a word or phrase not brave and expressive. Like kissing, it cannot be forgotten. Philo, no one knows what music is. Of course it could be described, the physics, the theory, what the ancients say of it, and people in other cultures. But no one can say what it is in itself, or why it has this effect on us. The tug forward, the rush of molecules in the brain, the impersonal experience made personal. How it brings strangers together, Madison Square Garden, whole generations, and makes us feel we are not alone, and feel the dead are not so far away. Thanks, Joseph.